Martin, I'm going to Castle, Talu Falava. Good afternoon. Um, I'll put down my book. Uh, thank you for investing time into this afternoon in this uh, topic, uh, which is focused on engagement, community and stakeholder engagement. Uh, I've got a bit of a background, uh, somewhere between 20 and 25 years in the engagement game, uh, wearing different hats and different uniforms. Uh, and so I'll, I'll bring everything that I have in terms of experience, knowledge and wisdom uh, into the space and I'd like to invite you to do the same because I think there, there is a huge amount of shared knowledge and wisdom here and what we're trying to do with Grow Waitaha is to do exactly that, it's to bring people together, create space, learn authentically in, in a time and in a manner that works for you. Uh, what it might be useful for you to know um, is that uh, I'm a part of a, a team uh, with Janelle and there are dozens of others uh, and we're all trying to progress this purpose. Uh, kind of paraphrase this uh, at the start, but this is about co-creation, just to reinforce this. Uh, it is about keeping learners at the centre of this change, the transformation that is happening in the urban setting, and the I know it's called rural setting, but really it's 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 not. There's urban, and there's urban, and there's rural, and then there's really rural. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and realising that there are so many focus areas that we could take in education at the moment, which are connected to each other. There may be little gems that come out of this afternoon's session that we could take away and put in an incubator and grow and nurture something amazing as well. So I, I just don't want this to be confined. Let's have, what do my science teachers say? Semi-permeable membranes. So things can flow from one to another. See, I was listening. So that's, that's our purpose. All good? Yep. Righto. Pause. Kilda. So today um, Chris is going to talk through a number of really powerful tools and frameworks that can be um, utilised by schools to support them in their engagement journey, whatever that looks like. But I, I just want to start off by talking about the most wonderful engagement tool that we have already in, in Aotearoa that is very unique and very, very powerful. Um, and actually the rest of the world is very jealous that we have this wonderful framework at our disposal. Uh, and so I just want to keep, ask you to keep this to the forefront of your mind. As Chris goes through the frameworks, I really um, think you will see, and it will, it will really surface for you, where the, the principles of the treaty sit. So partnership, participation and protection will be able to be seen in each of the frameworks in different ways but they thread through everything. And I think while we're all, as educationalists and, and schools, on a journey to breathe life into the treaty, and certainly if we're talking, that's kind of our moral obligation, I think, but, and, and also we have obligations under the NEGS and NAGS to be, to be having um, the treaty to the forefront. So I encourage you to think about the three Ps and what they might mean, and I, I've sort of, uh, written some keywords down there. There's also print a printout on your table that you can take away with you just of this slide. Uh, but really look for where they come through strongly in each of the frameworks because uh, we have this beautiful, beautiful tool at our disposal to, to use as, as a framework for engaging with Fano and iwi. Okay. Any thoughts or questions about any of the keywords that I've put down here? I think the, um, I just want to talk to this point here in participation is that sometimes, unfortunately, uh, we give opportunities for our whanau and our kids to have their voices heard, but not, not always are those voices acted on. And actually, I almost think that if they are not acted on, it's almost cancelled out the opportunity for those voices to be heard. Um, and then when you act on them, you need to come back and re-engage again and say, this is what we did with that. This is what we took from that. Um, and so th that's a hugely powerful part of it. So it's not just about people having their voices heard. It's about the sense that what they have brought to the table will be acted on. Um, and the other point, I think, under protection, engagement that is early 
And there is a lovely little statement associated with Grey Waitaha that our iwi often says, and they talk about nothing about us without us. And what that means for them is we want to be at the table at the very beginning of the discussion. Very, very beginning, right when it's an idea phase. Not down the track when actually we've already predetermined what the outcome's going to be and we just want to know what you think about it. That's not true protection or partnership. So thinking about how to get in nice and early and have everyone at the table that might need to be there. It's not to say people don't come along later in the journey, they absolutely do, but who needs to be there right at the very beginning? And of course that it's authentic, meaningful and ongoing. So keeping those principles to the forefront of our mind as we listen to Chris talk today I think will be huge and powerful.